Hello and welcome to round 24 of the Bass Pro Shops Cup Series Season 5. We are here for the duel in the desert at Phoenix for the second to last race of the season. On the pole is a driver that has no mathematical shot at this championship. From 9th place, which is Phil Jones, to 42nd place, Jack Richards, they have no possible chance at winning this championship because they're mathematically done. Alongside is another driver that's mathematically done, that is Hunter Stone. Third, Gino Harvey, and alongside is Matthew McMurray. Starting fifth, Sean Henley. Sixth, John Worry. Seventh, Danny Wells. Eighth, CJ Sorensen. Ninth, Joseph Bryant. And rounding out your top ten is Zach Buchanan. So we saw John Worry, he starts in the top ten. Steven Dillon and Carter Kozlowski don't start there, so they're going to have to work their way up there. So let's take a look at the rest of your starting lineup for today's race here at Phoenix. 11th, 12th, 13th, 14th, 15th, 16th, 17th, 18th, 19th, 20th, 21st, 22nd, 23rd, 24th, 25th, 26th, 27th, 28th, 29th, 30th, 31st, 32nd, 33rd, 34th, 35th, 36th, 37th, 38th, 39th, 40th, 41st and 42nd. Last place is Alex Filter. Now DJ Sorensen comes into this race. Well, coming into this race, if you have 555 points or more, you're still mathematically in. Now he has 555, so Carter Kozlowski needs to finish last. No, sorry, John Worry needs to finish last. And he has to have Carter Kozlowski, Steven Dillon. Those two need to have a really bad run. For DJ to get in contention. So for him, it's one of those things where he's pretty much realistically done. And apparently we had a scoring error here in our point system because... Oh, wait, no, never mind. Duh. Okay. Coming to the green flag, Julie Stewart leads to the green. As we barrel off into turn number one, Gino Harvey goes to the bottom of a Hunter Stone for second. Packing, packing it in. Three wide coming out of turn number two. I stuttered. <laughs> so we come to the back stretch through the dog leg. Did we make it? Oh, Stephen Dillon. Stephen Dillon putting himself in a very dicey position early. There was some contact there. Somehow they made it. Off into turn number one. slide up the track and it looks like we're gonna possibly make it through this lap as well let's check on Carter Kozlowski he started very deep in the field yeah he's still 34th and I believe that's where he started there's Chris Summers he never mind he's mathematically done okay coming out of four let's see he's gonna edge out his sister at the line that's for 33rd probably no so he's actually gonna be bumped back to 35th once Simpson passes him and they're log jamming in front of him. The slightest mistake by somebody is going to trigger a huge one. And it could be right here with Sean Henley and CJ Sorensen. Two championship contenders. Worries in the wall. Matthew McMurray. John Worry, a championship contender, hits the wall. And they're log jamming behind in turn one. It's not going to be good for Worry. Schwartz comes up the track. Seth Cole makes some contact. Through the dog leg. Oh, everybody's scattering further back. And we got trouble. Steven Dillon's in the wall. Zach Buchanan. He's heading right towards him. Wow, I think he avoided him. We have a caution. And Carter Kozlowski might have been part of it. Corey Williams has damage. Zach Buchanan. Neither one had a shot at the championship, but they still wanted to have some good runs, and they're done for the day. Oh, Brendan Amon. Oh, oh no, Dylan Young gets hurt. Oh, Stephen Dylan gets damage. That's going to hurt Stephen Dylan's shot at this championship. Comes into this race 37 points out of the championship, and he needs to leave within 44, and with this damage, that might eliminate him. Oh, boy. All right, caution has come out. Let's see what happened. 
Well, this is a little bit of a uh, confusing crash, considering... Oh, never mind. Okay, I thought this was like a battle for like the last positions, and they were scored like 7th and 8th. thought something might have happened to them, but here's what happened. Phil Jones pinches Zach Buchanan into the wall, and Bryant simply has nowhere to go. Then Corey Williams... I, yeah, I think he ran into Buchanan. And did Carter Keselowski get any damage in this? I don't think he did. And now, what happened here to uh, uh, Worry? Because I, I know I know I saw Worry get some damage. And uh, if he got some, it could hurt himself in the championship a bit. Let's see. Oh, Danny Wells, they kind of pinched each other up there, but look at who passed him. That is CJ. Now, CJ is scored fifth in the points, and he is... And not necessarily realistically done because anything can happen, but it's to the point where he's going to need something big to happen for him to uh, get back into this thing. He's probably going to need Worry, Keselowski, and Steven Dillon to all wreck, and that's what happened to Steven in 3 and 4. He also got pinched, got some damage, but then under caution, that front nose just got killed with uh, Dylan Young, Connor Breeden. Yeah, watch Steven. This is going to kill his championship if he can't continue. I'm sure he's going to be able to continue, just the aerodynamics are going to hurt him so bad. Yeah, Steven's car looks like it. The front is definitely going to be uh, messed up. So let's go back to the green. All right, we're back for the restart. Julie Stewart's the leader, followed by Hunter Stone, Gino Harvey, Sean Henley, and Danny Wells, your top five. And C.J. Sorensen, Phil Jones, John Dillon, Dion Petty, and John Acosta, your top ten. Brian LaFleur Jr., Julian Ortiz, Matthew McMurray, Joseph Bryant, and Timmy Pacioli rounds out your top fifteen. One, yeah, fifteen. I think I said top fifteen when I said top ten. I don't know. Okay, so let's check on your championship drivers. John Worry is scored 21st. He's the point leader. Then you got Kari Kozlowski, second in the standings, 39th in the race. Steven Dillon, now this is going to be kind of scary to check on. 32nd, okay, so he's still in this race. So they're gain they're all gaining points on Carter Kozlowski as they run. Now Danny Wells, I think he's near the front. And he is. Sean Henley, Danny Wells, CJ, Seth Cole, and DJ Sorensen. We'll check on uh, Seth Cole here in just a second along with DJ. Coming down to the green flag, Julie Stewart leads him back to the green. Oh my goodness, Hunter Stone did not get going. Three championship drivers trying to put themselves in contention. Dive to the inside of the track. Henley slides up into Harvey, but they save it. Look at Henley with a power move on the back stretch. This is what he needs to do right now. He's sixth in the standings with a... Uh, outside shot of this championship, but it's still it's gonna take something pretty big for him to get this, and a win would definitely help him out. Considering Carter Kozlowski is so far back in the 39th position, and he's just not hanging with the with the pack really that well. He's got some front end damage, unless that's a glitch. But uh, there's Steven. Steven is uh, 33rd as they run, and uh, of all drivers. Uh, Steven is the one that cannot afford a bad run here because he's just hanging on uh, for this for a hope at the championship walking into Daytona. And we know what happened earlier this season when Steven Dillon faced Daytona. He won that race. So uh, he can walk into that race with a mathematical shot. Anything will happen there. So you got three wide entering turn number three. That's Brandon Bain in the middle. Comes in this race, 12th in the standings. There's Jacob Lawler. Lawler is 10th in points. Oh, there's Seth Cole. Okay, we got to check on him. 22nd, battling for 21st with Worry. Comes into this race, um, 556 points is how much he has. And like we said, 555 is a pretty big long shot. I'd say right now, Danny Wells is really the only realistic driver that could get into this championship hunt because the others need to have Carter Kozlowski, John Worry, and uh, yeah, actually, DJ and Seth Cole are mathematically eliminated. I think Henley might be as well. 
because I think there's more than three cars out of the race, and they need those three drivers to finish in the last three positions, pretty much. And the leader is still Julie Stewart, followed by Hunter Stone, but Danny Wells, he is the driver right now that could still have a shot at this thing walking into Daytona. And remember how good he did in the Daytona 500. He had a very good shot at winning that race until Evan Earnhardt drove up in front of him entering turn three and caused a huge crash, took out Danny Wells and a lot of the very dominant cars. If I sound different, I just woke up. So, <laughs> Coming through turns three and four, Gino Harvey, he's third. 13th in points. He had a really good shot at maybe having a mathematical shot of the championship. Was that Garrett Jones that just walked up the track, or was that Mitch Speed? Oh, it was! And they're in the wall! DJ Sorensen is wrecked. Cole Frey looking Garrett Jones, and there's more carnage in turn one. Carter Kozlowski might be involved, and he got some back-end damage and probably some front-end damage. It, it looks like he got some back-end damage. Oh, and it was... Oh, Mitch Speed got some damage as well. He might have been in the second crash that happened. Oh, oh John Worry. Oh, wow, that was close at the line. And he's going to be 19th. He's got some damage from that earlier crash. Well, not crash, but some contact with, I believe it was Matthew McMurray. So, caution is up for the second time today, and let's see what happened. Okay, looking at the crash, but a big newsbreaker is that we saw Stephen Dillon on pit lane. I don't know if he got involved in the second crash or not, but we're going to have to check on that. And, oh, what a hard hit by all three of these drivers. That was about 150 mile an hour impact. So they all hit very hard. And then Mitch Speed, Alex Filter, they got damage, and this is probably why. <laughs> oh, they drove it in there very quick. Now, Carter Kozlowski, where did his damage come from? Oh, wait, he didn't get anything. Oh, that's just a glitch. Okay. So, um, yeah, where's Steven? Oh, there's Steven Dillon. Okay, he's not retiring from this race, but he's on pit road probably removing the hood. But did he get some damage? I know that he has damage, but that was from a little bit before. Now, it looks like he might have got together with Summers. And if nothing else happens here in these last little bit. Yeah, it looks like it was definitely a Summers incident. Ooh. Yeah, he smacked the heck out of that wall. And that allowed Carter Kozlowski to pass them. So, that's not what Steven needed. Because that is his championship driving away from him. Because that is second place in the standings, Carter Kozlowski, who is... 20, 30, 31 points uh, ahead of uh, Steven. So, caution is out, and uh, let's go back to the green. All right, coming out of turn two, going to take the green flag. It's Julie Stewart, Hunter Stone, Gino Harvey, Sean Henley, and Danny Wells, your top five. Then John Dillon, CJ Sorensen, Dion Petty, John Acosta, Phil Jones, your top 10, Brian LaFleur Jr., Julian Ortiz, Timmy Pacioli, Joseph Ryan, and Andrew Schwartz, your top 15. And now look at this. Steven Dillon has caught a lap down. He has scored 38th, and that's pretty much kissing his championship goodbye. 36th is Carter Kozlowski. Now that, that means Steven still could maybe catch a break on this, but it's still not looking good for him. John Worry, 19th. That's definitely something that's not good for uh, Steven. As he's still having a decent run. Here we go, coming back to the green flag. We're back underway from Phoenix, and watch out for Steven Dillon. Here comes Harvey in turn one. Three wide. He has to back out of it. Steven's not gonna. He gets up in Hunter Stone. Harvey almost got into him as we come to the back stretch. I think we made it further back, but Steven still is in a dicey position right now. He's actually passing some cars. Now, if he can get around Julie Stewart, that's going to be good for him because then we're probably going to have another caution before too long. If he can pass Julie Stewart, get back on the lead lap, then he could put himself back in contention. Now, this race is going very well for Danny Wells, considering Steven, John Worry, and Carter Kozlowski are all running much worse than Danny. 
he's got a he's still got a shot at maybe walking into Daytona with a mathematical shot at this thing. Coming to the back stretch, three or coming to the front stretch, three wide. That's Stephen Dillon is still stuck in the middle. There's older brother John on the inside. CJ is now not necessarily mathematically done. He's six points. CJ is six points off of Danny Wells, and you cannot emphasize how much six points can be when we come to Daytona next week. And now, see, Carter Kozlowski is now 33rd, but Summers is all over him for that position. This is not the run Carter Kozlowski needed for his championship, and uh, he might just have to uh, say goodbye to that because look at John Worry. Oh, wait, Worry, he's slipping back a bit since the restart. He's lost the position, but here comes Courtney Simpson. Simpson doing, his bro doing her brother a bit of a favor there by passing Worry. Now, can Brandon Bain get around Worry? Because that did not come to mind. First, we got a crash. It might be Stephen Dillon. It's Pacioli. Pacioli has wrecked. It looks like everybody's going to get around him. Now, under caution, we've still, we have seen some crashes under caution. It doesn't look like we are going to have one here. And these boys are still racing back to the line. And it looks like it's going to be all Julie Stewart when we come back to the start finish line. Stewart has led every lap in this race and has not looked back. Caution is out. Let's get a replay. All right, here it is. Pacioli overdrove the exit of the turn, hit Brian LaFlair, then that pushed him down into Schwartz, and he hit that inside wall a ton. And he spins back up and almost collects championship contenders like John Worry and Carter Kozlowski, but they were able to sneak around him. So caution has come out for the third time today, so let's go back to the green. We're going to restart with four laps to go, and it's going to be Julie Stewart leading the field. With Hunter Stone, Sean Henley, Danny Wells, Gino Harvey, C.J. Sorensen, John Dillon, Dion Petty, John Acosta, and Julian Ortiz, the front ten. Check on the championship battle. Worry the point leaders, 21st, second in the standings. Carter Kozlowski is 33rd. That's 12 points. 12 points. That'd be an 18-point gap walking into Daytona for Worry. And Stephen Dillon. 38th. I think he's done. Comes in on this race. 37 out. He's losing. Yeah, he's mathematically done right now. He's got to hope something happens to worry. And he might just be the cause of it because he's a lap down. He's lapped traffic. And he's a lot slower than the guys behind him. And worry is not far from him. So this championship battle could once again flip upside down. Coming back to the green flag, Julie Stewart, Hunter Stone, Sean Henley, the front three, and we're back underway from Phoenix. All right, let's make sure Steven doesn't do anything on this restart that he's going to regret. Phil Jones makes the move to the inside. He's ninth in the standings, has nothing to lose. Down the back stretch, through to the dog leg. All right, Steven looks like he's still maintaining a pretty good pace with these guys back here. He's just got to make sure that uh, <laughs> debris doesn't come flying off that car because of how mangled the front end is. The front end is just ripped to pieces. They've had to take the hood off of that. Front end is indented. I'm just surprised that they've been able to continue this race. So it is still Julie Stewart who looks like she might, she's probably going to win this race because of just how much these two guys are battling. And then Danny Wells is closing. And she's just had the fastest car all day. And we're still green. There's Carter Kislowski, 33rd. All right. Has Worry fallen back? I think this might be for 21st. And Brandon Bain is going to... Oh, he hits him. That would have been a wreck. That would have completely changed Steve Dillon's point of the championship because he would have had a shot at this. And now Worry goes up the track. And did I just see the caution lights? And we, this is, it's over now. We, uh, yeah, pace cars out. Jacob Lawler, Alex Filter, Jack Richards, all those guys are off pace. So the caution is out, and this is over.
Julie Stewart is going to win the race. Let's just make this official here. We got only half a lap to go. So it's going to be Julie Stewart, Sean Henley, Hunter Stone, Danny Wells, Gino Harvey, your top five. Then John Dillon, CJ Sorensen, Dion Petty, John Acosta, and Julian Ortiz, the top ten. So walking into Daytona, it looks like it's going to be just Keselowski and Worry going for the championship. Where in the past, we've this is the smallest amount of championship contenders we've got we've seen here in the Bass Pro Shops Cup Series going into the finale and probably what the smallest amount of cars we're ever going to see going for the championship. So coming to the checkered flag, Julie Stewart's going to win it at Phoenix. Not the way we wanted to end this race, but unfortunately is what it is, and Julie Stewart's going to win it. And there's Worry, and Kozlowski wasn't too far back, was he? Never mind, there he is. So, the championship picture is going to look like this. Steven Dillon has lost any legitimate shot at the championship. Coming into this race, he was 37 points out. He can lose 7 points to the leader, Worry, and still be in championship contention. 7 points, he lost, what was it, 16? Yeah, he's done. And then, Carter Kozlowski, he lost 10 points to the leader. So now he walks into the finale 16 points out. So the caution came out to end this race, so let's see what happened here to Lawler. Alright, this was actually pretty close to Carter Kozlowski. And it was just behind John Worry, as you can see him battling further up. Matthew McMurray, Dylan Young, and Jacob Lawler all make contact. Lawler hits the outside wall pretty hard. Kozlowski just barely missed him. Not that it had really hurt him in the championship, but it had cost him a few more positions and maybe have Stephen Dillon uh, maybe having a shot at this thing. But once again, he'd have to have Worry have a bad finish. So it's pretty much over for those guys. Uh, now Danny Wells, uh, it's 73 points coming into this race. Yeah. He'd have to gain 30, and there's no way he did that with the fourth place. He gained that on Carter Kozlowski, not necessarily uh, John Worry, though, because Worry is the best of the championship contenders here, uh, unless you include Danny Wells. But Sean Henley, uh, yeah, he was 11 points shy of Danny, and he outdid him by two positions, so it's still not going to be enough for Henley. So the championship battle is just going to be Worry and Kozlowski in Daytona. There's first through 28th. Now 15th to 80 se or to uh, 42nd with the 82. <coughs> Sorry, uh, of Brandon Almond. He finished last. Uh, <coughs> Sorry, my phone going off. Um, Corey Williams, Zach Buchanan, Garrett Jones were all out of the race, and then Stephen Dillon did the opposite of what he needed to do. He ended up 38th. Um, there's Kurt Kozlowski and Evan Earnhardt kind of driving around. Okay. Uh, so, yep, there is your finishing results. Seth Cole ended up 15th. He came into this race with a very, very far outside shot at winning this. He's not going to win this championship or even be in contention. So, like we said, the championship battle is going to look like this. It's going to be all about Carter Kozlowski and John Worry when we head off to Daytona. Julie Stewart won her second race of the season. She comes into this race with nothing to lose in 34th in points. That's about the highest in points she's been like all season. She's just had a miserable year. And uh, a 30, s or wait no, she's 36th in points. And uh, with this run, she might be up to like 34th or something. Maybe. Something like that. Okay. So anyways, championship battle is winding down. And now we have one race to go for the championship, and it's going to be Keselowski and Worry when we head off to Daytona. From all of us at the EPRL, we will see you later, and we'll see you at Daytona.